got a lot to do, but it's fun. Got the nose pretty much outlined to the eyes, where the eyes are going to be. And I'm flattening out this area right now, so that's where I'm at right now. So what I'm doing right now is I'm currently working on the nose. So this is the nose, um, more finished. It's obviously not done completely, but you can kind of see the shape that the man is taking. I've got the detail knife here. There's two techniques for doing this and using these kinds of knives. The best one is the push, where you kind of push like that. That way, if you were to mess up, it kind of just goes like that, and you're not gonna cut yourself. And the next one is you have a pull technique. One of the general rules of carving is you never want to push the blade towards you, but sometimes you'll find you don't have a choice. And in that case, you just gotta be really careful. Everything's coming together really well, and I think he's looking really good so far, aside from the fact he looks like a you know, big old mess right now of wood chips. <laughs> but once he's all carved up, he'll look good. I've been working a little bit on the guy, and you can see his eye on this side is really rough, but you can see that this side, you know, I've really been smoothing it out. Now one thing that you'll see me doing in this video is I'm uh, not wearing any gloves. The only reason why I'm not wearing gloves is because, you know, I've been doing this for a while, so I'm kind of used to it. I'm pretty much, you know, I'm pretty confident that I'm not gonna cut myself. But if you were to try this, and you've never wood carved before, then I highly, stupidly recommend, like, super recommend you wear some form of protection on your hands. Like I said earlier in the video, what I'm doing is I'm using my thumb to just push it. So I have nice, good control. Now what I'm doing is I'm using this tool right here, which has a rounded end, as you can see. And I'm just using it to kind of round out some of these edges. So far so good. Using a little bit of sandpaper, trying to kind of grind this out a little bit. You can really see now that clear difference between the rough side and the smooth side. Today is day three, and uh, let me get some adjustments going on here. It's a little dark, I know, but I've put in like the effects into his beard. Let me focus the camera a bit. I've put in like uh, some nice kind of hair effects. I've already been working on him for about an hour, and we've got a long way to go. Now to do the eye and the eyebrow. You gotta be really careful on the eye, because the eye is such a small thing. If you push too hard or go a little too crazy, you're gonna break the entire eye off. All right, so you can see that the eye is now done, the other eye. You can see that it's open and the other one is closed. You can see the cheek is all smoothed out. Um, so now I just gotta do the forehead and this eyebrow, this eyebrow, and then uh, the hair up here. and. Um, he then just needs to be smoothed out and he'll be he'll be done. Today is day whatever on the wood carving adventure. As you can see, his forehead is like smoothed out. It's not 100% done, but it's like 95% done. One thing that I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get a nice gap between the, uh, the top of the mustache and the nose. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit it just like this and I'm going to smooth it out.
So this is what he looks like, like all carved up. I'm pretty happy with him. So now what I'm gonna do is I have some wood stain here. So I'm gonna put some wood stain on him and uh, that'll pretty much be it. Don't worry about getting it on your hands. It's not really a big deal. Believe me, it will live. Whenever you do wood stain, just make sure that you get every inch. I mean, don't miss nothing. 